We are going to be making a, a, a hooded neck warmer or a balaclava. We are going to start at this point, zero, eight needles. Then we shall be increasing one needle on both sides, plus one needle on both sides, knitting four times until we reach 15. Point fifteen, and this side will read 95. When we reach there, we shall decrease one needle on both sides. This is minus one. And you need four times. So we are just doing the opposite of what you are doing this side. Here we were increasing one needle, knitting four times. Here we are decreasing one needle on both sides knitting four times until we come back to the original position of 0 80 after that our piece will be like this we shall fold our piece and it will look like this then we shall put the the hood this is the back of the hood it will be 130 rows from this point to here 130 rows this is the back part of the hood then this is the front part of the hood we do the same thing here like we did here from 9 from 0 to 80 then we increase and decrease then we come to this point here then we shall knit this part this part separately then we shall come back to this part separately then uh, this this is the band the neck band here right now it won't make sense but we will understand very well when we are doing it practically okay let's start hello friends welcome to my channel my name is jamie and today we are going to make a balaclava or a neck warmer that has a hood we are going to use 80 0 80 needles and I've, let's make a knot and cast on using the e method It's very simple to do. Um, this one will fit a child. So we are done casting on. Let's put in a machine. This is called the carriage. I'm using brother KH 120. I put my tension in 2.5. Need one row. Now use this custom comb. Then I do one, two, three. Leave one out of work. One, two, three. Skip one. One, two, three. Skip one. One, two, three. Skip one. Like that. Then I change the tension to seven. I'm using tension seven because this machine has very small needles. But if you're using the other brother machines with bigger needles, you can use tension five or six. Now, this this is the second row. Now we are going to add one needle on both sides and knit four times. One, two, three. that 
now we keep doing that until we reach at point 0.95 and this side 15 remember we are using seven needles so here we skip one needle this is how it, our piece looks like at this point now we are going to decrease we are going to be decreasing one needle both sides meeting four times we are doing the opposite of what we've been doing Until we come back to point zero eighty. Now, if you're using the other brother machines that have bigger needles, you can custom zero seventy five instead of eight. It will still fit properly. starting point here yeah. under this point this is how our piece looks like now we are going to fold this piece into two first pose we are folding our piece Just folding, putting the, the lower part onto the machine so that we do the upper part of, of the neck form. It is the hood. Now we are doing the hood. That's it now. Without changing the tension. Now we are going to do the upper part. At this point, I will need the counter to count 
so I put the counter back to zero zero and I will need 130 rows show you the next day. Now, now I have removed the the back part from the machine and this is how it looks like. Now we are going to be doing the front, but unfortunately, this is the only yarn I'm remaining with for maroon. Now we are going to use red for the front part. I hope it comes out nice. So we shall use red. Changing my attention to seven, and I'm going to count one, two, three, one, two, three, skip one, one, two, three, skip one, one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Those are more, but it's fine. So at this point, we are going to increase one needle. On both sides, I need four times. Seven needles, leaving one out of work. and 15 this side now we are going to do the opposite of what you are doing we are going to reduce so we need four times one so we keep transferring knitting four times until we come back to 80 zero We do the same thing like we did on the other 
on this other piece. So this is our last stitch of transfer and this is how our piece looks like it has this shape like this so now we are going to fold our piece into two Here we are just folding. Now we are going to need two rows. two rows and now we are going to divide this piece into two because now we are making the face now from 0 to 80 this part has to have 40 and this 40 so at this point of 40 I'm going to I'm bringing these needles in forward like this then I take this one back then I put my machine on hold and then I change the carriage. It has to be at point zero 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 zero. Now I'm going to need one thirty rows. The same thing we did for the other piece. But we are doing that for only one side. Okay. We, are knitting. we can see these needles are not knitting. We shall knit this side first, then we shall come back for this side. So, come back when I'm um, at row 130. Now we are row 130 and this is how it looks like. You remember when we put this part on hold, we did not need 
Now, I'm just going to remove this off the machine. This is called casting off. So I'm casting off this part. Then we go back to the other part. And that's it. We are done casting off. <clears throat> this is how it looks like. Now I put back this to the non-knitting position. And then we knit this other side. Now I return my counter to zero. Zero, zero. And do the same thing. I did this side. I'm going to need one thirty rows. Sorry, I didn't put back this to... So I'm, I'm taking this back to non partial So it's going to be knitting. So these are two rows. So you do the same thing, you're going to do one thirty rows. I'll come back and show you how it looks like after I've removed it from the machine. Now this is how our, um, our hood looks like like this and this is the face now we are just going to put it back on the machine like this to make the the front band and we shall be shall just be putting back the the fabric onto the machine let me hope this is enough no they are not I'll put it on like this up to this side. So you put back all this fabric back onto the needles. Let me just do that. I'll show you how it looks like. Back our fabric onto the, uh, the knitting bed. Now we are going to make the band, the front band, and we are going to need 26 rows. 26 rows. something here the six rows something happened here in two needles went in the same position so I'm just So those are 26 rows. Now we are folding the piece. This is our neckband. We are folding the piece into two. Like this. So we are going to bed. And then we shall need two times. So let me do that up to the end. I'm done joining the band and I've knitted twice in tension seven. This is the front band. Now I'm changing tension to ten. I'm going to knit two rows. We are done with knitting. We are just going to remove our piece from the machine. 
that is casting off so i'm going to be casting off we are done joining i instead use the darning needle i use this needle to join and this is how it looks like from the inside and i just wanted to show you something here when joining this part make sure you you make a curve here because if you join it like this this part will be very pointed and it won't look good now this is how it looks like on the top this is it and also you notice how i joined this part here these are separate parts yes you join the two separate parts you join them differently separately not together like this but separately yeah that's it and thank you for watching see you next time please subscribe to our channel like and leave a comment thank you bye bye Good.